What's happening, y'all? Oh my God! So I heard that Margot Robbie and Adam Driver dropped out of being in the Fantastic Four. No longer in talks and negotiations. No longer signed on the dotted line, like all the rumors said. I find that very interesting. And now I'm hearing this. I meant to do a video on it the other day, but I totally forgot. I was doing other videos and just forgot. Sometimes I got stuff lined up and I forget to do all the videos. I... Gosling? Okay, I mean... I mean, both of them, I'm just... I could see other better Reed Richards, but Gosling with the haircut, that, that, that could work. I like Gosling. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson, and today we have some exciting news about the Fantastic Four. Now, it looks like the casting for Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Woman that we thought had been locked down mm -hmm. is no longer the case. It was almost a done deal that Adam Driver would play Reed Richards, uh, a.k.a. Right. Mr. Fantastic, and that Margot Robbie would play Sue Storm, right. a.k.a. the Invisible Woman of the Fantastic Four. But it seems like that is no longer the case, and that they are... Out. It doesn't mean they can't come back, but we have heard that they are no longer in negotiations. Were they a package deal? Play these characters. Which Why both of them? Roles of Sue Storm and Reed Richards are still open. Now we haven't really heard much about the Human Torch or the Thing, so Paul okay. Mescal and David Diggs still could very much be in the running. In fact, we've heard David Diggs is still in talks with Marvel Studios to play the Thing. But there have been talks okay. about one other person that Marvel Studios could want to play the Thing, and they have wanted to talk to him about playing a character in the MCU in the past as well. And it looks like Ryan Gosling could be joining the MCU. Now we know Kevin Feige has said but he is very much open to Ryan Gosling joining the MCU. In fact, he wants him to join the MCU. Okay. Of course, if the part is right. Now, the only question is, if he joins the Fantastic Four, which part is he going to play? He looks like a human torch. We're this down in this video, including who is most likely our new Sue Storm. So let's first start off with our Invisible Woman, because after Margot Robbie supposedly passed on the deal to play mm -hmm. Sue Storm, Marvel apparently went back to pretty much their second person that they wanted to play Sue Storm. Actually, I should say third person because we've had reports from some insiders that Emma Stone was reportedly offered the role of Sue Storm some time ago, but turned it down. The report was that she turned it down because there wasn't enough money there. And that seems to be huh. kind of a common huh. theme right now for the two castings of Reed Richards and Sue Storm money. Apparently, uh, 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 because of money, and that seems to be the case for Adam Driver and Margot Robbie as well. They wanted more money. But we heard that others have been in the role. Guess Marvel's broke. Can't pay them, huh? That Marvel has had their eye on Jody Comar and Vanessa Kirby. And according to three different insiders, Daniel RPK, Grace Randolph, and John Campia, they have all heard hmm. that Vanessa Kirby has been offered the role of Sue Storm officially. Okay. Now, I love Vanessa Kirby. She is a great actress, and she has been in many big films. However, of course, she is not at the level of Margot Robbie, because very few are. So, having said that, True. Marvel Studios won't have to pay her as much. If Adam Driver and Margot Robbie wanted $20 million, then maybe Vanessa Kirby wants $15 million or $12 million. Again, I love her, but that's just how it is. So the money problem that got in the way with that's Emma Stone being Sue Storm and with Margot Robbie being Sue Storm probably isn't that much of a problem with Vanessa Kirby. However, hopefully her landing this role will give her that problem in the future. And based off of what we've heard, Margot Robbie really is out. However, insider Casey hmm. Walsh has recently implied that Adam Driver is still on the table. They are just talking about the money still. In response to some tweets hmm. stating that Adam Driver came back to the table as Mr. Fantastic, he replied with, it's a pay dispute and the SAG strike doesn't help. And Adam Driver has worked with Disney before, of course, Star Wars. He is Kylo right. Ren, so he's worked with Disney for a very long time. So they're probably trying to be accommodating towards him, but at the same time, they do have a budget. However, I will say, Vanessa Kirby, if she did indeed accept the role of Sue Storm, we heard it's been offered to her officially, but we don't know if she's accepted it yet, but if she does, and we assume that she's not going to get paid as much as Margot Robbie wanted, mm -hmm. then that opens up a little bit more money to pay Adam Driver. 
And perhaps that's why Adam Driver is still on the table. And Marvel mm. Studios apparently wants a big name actor to come in to play one of the roles. Well, of the stop Fantastic making Four big name Marvel. mistakes Somebody and y'all can pay him. pointed out the fact that Ryan Gosling would make a great Booster Gold, which is an upcoming project and character that okay. DC Studios is okay. currently working on. I see that. However, Insider Sinistealth stated he might be a little occupied somewhere else, <laughs> in which then Insider Casey Walsh responded to that tweet stating, one of the reasons they are having trouble locking down the Fantastic Four cast, the MCU is trying to pull in big name stars. So, the preoccupation mentioned, the fact that Ryan Gosling might be too preoccupied to go play Booster Gold for DC is because he could be playing a huge role over at Marvel Studios for the Fantastic Four. Now, nobody has specifically said which character of the Fantastic Four he would be playing, but we can assume it would be Mr. Fantastic or the Human Torch, and I'm leaning more towards Mr. Fantastic. Reed Richards is the leader of the Fantastic Four, and he's also a leader in general when it comes to Marvel and and superheroes. And consistently True. throughout Marvel history in the comics, he has been cited as the most intelligent person alive, sometimes even quoting him as the most intelligent being in general. So rest assured, our <laughs> Mr. Fantastic, our Reed Richards, what is an going to be to a one and done. We're not just going to have one Fantastic Four movie, and that's it. Sorry, John Krasinski. But at least we did get to see it once as Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, but Ryan Gosling is Great. more than likely talking to Marvel Studios Thanks, about Marvel. playing Mr. Fantastic. This this would be a role that he would be interested in. And right now, he's got a lot of hype behind his name. Barbie is about to release on July 21st, and what's interesting about that is his co-star for that film, Barbie herself, is Margot Robbie, who apparently turned down the role of Sue Storm. However, we do know that Ryan Gosling has actually met with Marvel Studios before, but Kevin Feige meets with a lot of people about possible future roles. And Kevin Feige has stated before that sometimes he meets with actors multiple times to talk about multiple different roles, but they ultimately never end up deciding on a role and that actor never gets cast for a part in the MCU. It depends on the fit. And Jake Gyllenhaal said that he met okay. with Marvel Studios many times about many different characters until they finally agreed Mysterio was a perfect fit for him. Then they killed him off in one movie. But we know that Ryan has met with Marvel Studios, and we know that he was also up for the role of Nova, according to some insiders. But perhaps the reports were wrong. Maybe he was up for Reed Richards, or maybe he was up for Nova, but now that Reed Richards isn't locked down, Marvel Studios is going, wait, maybe actually Ryan could play Mr. Fantastic. He's a huge name right now, and he would probably need a little bit more money, but again, if Vanessa Kirby is Sue Storm, a little money just opened up for him. So, Ryan Gosling could go on to be our Mr. Fantastic of the MCU. And, as I mentioned, we've recently heard a little rumor going around that Marvel Studios in the past was actually looking at David Diggs and Nick Kroll for Moon Knight, two Jewish actors, and that's what they want for The Thing. The Thing is Jewish in the comics, so they want a Jewish actor to play him. So Nick Kroll's name could be thrown out there for the thing, especially if they want to add that comedic aspect to the Fantastic Four team. Him and Johnny typically bring the humor. So that's not a confirmation by any means, but just a rumor that's going on right now that Marvel Studios might be considering Nick Kroll again for the role of the thing. However, it does seem like the V Diggs might be locking down that role pretty soon. So as of right now, our potential Fantastic Forecast is either Ryan Gosling or Adam Driver as Mr. Fantastic. Vanessa Kirby seems to be the best bet right now for Sue Storm, considering the fact that Marvel Studios has officially offered her the role, so if she accepts it, she's in. All we've heard really about the Human Torch so far is about Paul Mescal possibly getting the role, and right now, the thing's front runner is the V Dicks. So, let us know what you think about this so far. Who would you like to play these roles? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you can enter our giveaway. You can also follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and if you want to support the channel further, you can check out our Patreon, our website, or our Discord. Discord server. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof. Well, that's some interesting information. Why don't they had the, the more interesting information for me though is why don't they have the money to pay them? Hmm? Is it all the financial Chaos going over, going on over there. If they weren't trying to meet woke standards constantly, they probably 
will be able to pay these actors what they want and what they're worth to bring it on in. You know what I mean? I was watching something today and they were talking about this whole thing, this list of things that this list of four criteria, um, four woke cri criteria that movies must make to be considered for an Oscar. And it's it's four criteria. You got to meet two of them. And I forgot what the list of them were, but I was just like, and they all want to make that award, get that award, and that's part of it. Plus, you got was it those. Uh, I don't know. There's some other ones, too. I know you guys told me about them a few times, these other standards. And it's just, it's ridiculous. I'm shoving stuff in places where it, it, it no one asked it for. Uh, it, it does not even need it in certain situations. It's just extra. It's just all extra stuff. And they're paying for it over and over and over and over again. And while I liked a lot of these actors and actresses, you know, like a lot of times I forget. I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah, yes, I, oh they cast that. Oh yeah, that'll be great. Oh, look, I like Gosling. Oh yeah, yeah, actually, might Gosling might be a good torch. You just all me thinking, you know, um, they're thinking he's thinking maybe Reed Richards or whatever. The fact of the matter is, it doesn't matter if the movies aren't going to be good. People do not have hero fatigue, superhero fatigue. They have bad movie fatigue. They have woke movie fatigue. That's what they have. So, until they change, it ain't going to really matter. But hopefully, they're changing course and giving us good entertainment again. Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think if you enjoyed my thoughts and take on this. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share and subscribe to the Cosmic One Dare that Ron they play in the game. Bars! 10 million subscribers. Woo! -hoo!